What's up y'all, this is Vlad from Vlad TV. And today I wanna to talk about the basics of investing. Now on Vlad Stocks, we talk a lot about this. Uh, if you follow Vlad Stocks on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, you're already familiar with some of these concepts, but I wanted to go ahead and bring it to the YouTube audience. Now, what I wanna talk about today is what you have to do before you even think about investing. Now, first and foremost, you have to get rid of all your credit card debt. Now, the average U.S. household has over $16,000 in credit card debt. That's on average. And actually, about 40% of people don't have any debt at all, any credit card debt at all. So think about where that money is going and how many people are actually underwater in terms of credit cards. Now, keep this in mind. Credit card interest is as high as 23%. And that money is compounded daily. So that means that if you don't pay your credit card off today, tomorrow you will owe more money. Credit card companies are ruthless. They strive on you not paying back your credit cards and continuously paying the minimum amount month after month. So you basically just never pay it off. Now think about this. The average stock market return is around 10% a year. Now, if you think you're gonna get out of a bad credit card situation by trying to flip your money into stocks, you're gonna be hustling backwards. And this is why. 10% average return from the stock market, 23% interest from the credit card companies. If you go ahead and put all your money in the stock market while you don't pay off your credit cards, you're gonna be in the whole 13%. Now keep this in mind. You're not guaranteed that 10%. So imagine you know, having thousands of dollars in credit card debt, thinking you're gonna quickly flip your money in the stock market. You throw your money in stocks and that money goes down. You now owe more money on your credit cards and it's been compounded <laughs> daily. So you even owe even more money. You know, it's a losing thing. So whatever you do before you even think about investing in stocks, pay off all your credit card debt. Now look, I understand a lot of you probably have some unpaid past bills. There is, you know, a phone bill that you never paid and you just end up switching to another carrier. There might be a uh, electric bill from a house you no longer live at. But here's the thing, and this is the way you really have to look at it. We all have friends out there that we've lent money to and they never paid us back. We all have these friends, me included. Now, what usually happens when you loan your friends some money and they don't pay you back? Well, I mean, at the minimum, you're never gonna loan them any more money. Uh, you'll probably talk bad about them to some of your other friends. And uh, a lot of times you stop being their friend. You stop messing with them altogether. So the same thing pretty much happens in the business world. But instead of these companies talking bad about you to a couple people, your credit score will get lowered which means that you're gonna have a harder time doing a whole bunch of stuff. You're not gonna be able to lease a car because you have bad credit. You're gonna try to get into a certain apartment, they're not gonna rent it to you because you have bad credit. Now, you wanna buy a house eventually? Forget about it. I mean, the banks have already learned the hard way during the whole housing crash, what happens when you lend money to a whole bunch of people who have bad credit. That in turn essentially crashed the whole world <laughs> and it took years for people to actually dig their way out of there. So here's another thing when it really comes down to it, and that is your spirit. Because here's the thing, no matter who you are, nobody wants to live life owing other people money. You don't want to go through life having people that you legitimately owe money to trying to track you down, trying to blow up your phone, garnishing your wages, and so forth. You're not going to achieve the best that you can in life until you take care of your debts. No successful person has ever gotten there. Now you could say, oh, well, so-and-so filed bankruptcy and so forth. Yeah, there's always gonna be certain exceptions and people have downtimes. But in general, most of the successful people, if not all the successful people out there, they manage their debt and they get rid of their debt and they have a plan to get rid of their debt if they actually do maintain it for a certain amount of time. Now, here's the thing. You don't need a credit repair service to get rid of your debt. Go ahead and call up the companies that you owe money to, yourself and talk it over with them. Tell them that you wanna sincerely pay them back and you don't have all the money right now, but you wanna work out a payment plan. Almost every company is gonna be very open for you to do that because they're trying to get their money back. And trust me, when you go and pay off all your debt and you don't owe anybody anything, your whole life will get so much better. The way you feel will be so much better. The future will look a lot brighter to you. And overall, you're just gonna live life better. So how do you get rid of some of your credit card debt? Well, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. Number one, look at some of the non-essential stuff that you have 
and sell it on eBay. You know, a lot of us have Jordans that are in our closet that you could go and flip on eBay. There's a bunch of stuff you probably have around the house that you could sell. And in 2018, in the internet age, there's so many places to sell your stuff that you could make extra money that way. Uh, get rid of all your non-essential bills. For example, cable is a big one. That was a big one that I did personally. By getting rid of DirecTV and going to Netflix and Amazon Prime, which was free, I reduced my cable bill from $220 a month to $11 a month. Now, another option is to go back to school. Now, in the short term, you're going to take on a little bit more debt. But in the long term, you're going to actually have skills that will allow you to get a better paying job and also really learn a lot of things that you may not know. I went to college myself, and for years, I thought that you know, what's the point? I'm a DJ, I'm a filmmaker, I have a website. What's the point of me having my computer science degree? Well, when Vlad TV formed, all the skills that I learned in college, I was actually able to apply in my new business. And I was able to have an edge over all the other blogs out there because most of the people that ran those blogs never went to college for this, and I did. So going to college is definitely a, a big thing that you could do. Get a second job. These days, there are so many places for you to make extra money. You could do Uber. You could do Postmates. There's all these places that are willing to throw you some money fairly quickly by you doing an extra job. Now, you could say, well, I don't want an extra job. I'm, I'm cool with just one job. Well, then, if you keep doing that, you're going to end up staying in the same place. For you to get out of a situation that you're currently in, you're going to have to work harder. You're going to have to make some sacrifices. And the best bet that I could actually offer to you in terms of making extra money to get rid of your debt is focus on the job that you have right now. Now, I can guarantee you that if you work twice as hard at the job that you're at right now, your salary will increase. As a business owner with a large staff, the people that work the hardest for me, that really bust their ass, I always promote them, I always give them more money, I always appreciate them, I always give them more responsibility. So instead of doing a bunch of small stuff, focus on what it is that you're doing already and just do a better job of it. Because I guarantee if you put in that extra work, it will always be rewarded. Maybe not now, but definitely in the future. Okay, now the last thing that I want to mention about debt is student debt. Now a lot of you have student debt and you know, in a way that's actually good because Going to school is definitely something that's gonna help you out in the future. I went to school, I had student debt for a long time, and a lot of you still have the student debt. Now, student loans are around 4%. So, like I said before, average stock market returns are around 10%. So, I'm not totally against flipping some of that money you have into the stock market while still maintaining some student debt. Not really preferable, but you know, if that's the only thing you could do right now, do what you need to do.